This is your crystal clear explanation of pointers in C++ in under three minutes, one take, let's do it. So I'm gonna get started here by defining an integer called spot price. I'm gonna set that equal to 100 and I can print that to the console by saying C out spot price. If I run this and I drag over my console here, you can see 100, surprise, surprise. Now, integer is a type. We know spot price is of type integer. It's gotta be stored somewhere in memory. And we can actually retrieve the memory address by using an ampersand. So what I can do is just throw that in there. And then if I run this, you can see it'll print out the memory address of that particular variable. Now, it just so happens this variable lives on the stack, but that's a topic for another day. So what is a pointer? Well, a pointer is just like this variable, spot price, but instead, once we define a type, we throw an asterisk there. So then I'm gonna call this spot price pointer. And we have an integer pointer. This integer pointer contains the memory address of an integer. Well, what memory address does this spot price pointer contain? Let's give it our spot price memory address. So I'm gonna say spot price pointer is equal to ampersand spot price. And then now, if I print out in succession, both the memory address for the spot price and the memory address for the spot price pointer, you'll see that they are indeed the same value. We get the four four and then the four four. So now that we have a pointer pointing to a memory address, we wanna get the value associated with that memory address. We want the raw integer. So what I'm gonna do is dereference the memory address using an asterisk. So if I throw a star right there and I run this, we will print the spot price pointer, which originally was just a memory value, but now we actually get the integer. So what is the catch? Well, we have to be careful because if we do anything to either the original spot price or anything to the dereferenced spot price pointer, that is perhaps we set it equal to 200. If we print the original spot price, we know that they share a memory value. So the original spot price is also going to change. That's pointers in under three minutes. Thanks for watching.